hi welcome to my channel and today i have another cuposket unboxing video for you so today i'm going to be unboxing the cinderella dreamy style cuposket so the dreamy style cuposkets are all dressed in wedding dresses and this is supposed to be cinderella's wedding dress so i actually bought this one off ebay i got it for 15 pounds i think i think that was all in i can't remember i might have had to pay purchase on top i'm not sure but around 15 pounds which is actually a really good price as you can see the retail price is 25 pounds so to get it for 15 i thought it was a good good bargain um it, it has been opened at the top so they've opened this bit but the bag inside is supposed to be sealed that's what it said on the list and it said the bags inside are sealed and they only opened the box just to check if the figure was damaged or not so so the figure should be all sealed up inside so let's start by having a look at the box so as you can see this is the front of the box and you just have a full view of the figure you can see her in her gorgeous wedding dress and she has this lovely veil on and then on the side of the box it shows you different angles of the figure here so you can have a better look at it and also it shows the two different colour variations you can get so you can get it in this um, I think this is more of a white colour and that's more of like a creamy colour or is this more of a like a whitish blue it's hard to tell on the picture but I think maybe this is more like a bluish white and that's more of a creamy white I'm not sure I think this one I'm not actually sure which one this is so let's have a look oh yeah it's this one it's version A you can tell when you look at it properly so this is version A so this is going to be a version A1 um, and then on the other side of the box it has the usual framed picture of the figure and then on this side it has a side view of the figure the bottom has all the information on and then the top of the box has sort of a view looking down onto the figure's face so let's get this figure open and see what she looks like because I'm really excited to look at this one Pull the cardboard bit out. So here we go as usual, the kiosks always come in three parts, you get the stand, the body and the head and then you have to slot them all together. So I'm going to open all the parts now and then we're going to look at each one individually and then we're going to put the figure together. Okay, so we'll start by looking at the stand. So the dreamy style cuposkets all come with a white stand. Standard cuposkets tend to come on a black stand and special versions come on gold stands. Uh, so this is the standard stand for the dreamy style in the white. And then it's got like the usual pattern that usually goes around the edges as well. It has two nodules in this one for the figure to fit in. And on the back it just has the copyright information on it so that is the stand so let's then look at her body and i can see straight away that there's a few flaws on this so i'm going to be totally honest i am glad i did not pay 25 pounds for this because there's a lot of flaws um i'm not sure if you can pick it up matt so just turn the brightness down a bit now you can see on the front of her dress here you can see there's like a big dint in it here in the plastic you see there which is so annoying because it's right in the middle of the figure and you can clearly see it so I'm not too happy about that also it's got like dirty marks on it as well and then I don't know if you can see here on the dress Let's see if you can see it there's this line going down it here all the way here there's a line going down the dress I don't like that either. I don't know if it's supposed to be there. I don't think it is because it just doesn't look right. Um, but yeah, and it goes down here as well. So that's another big flaw in it. And then uh, there's one going down there. Maybe that's just the way it's been pieced together. I don't know. But it just looks a bit messy. And yeah. 
and then it just sort of looks dirty and then if you look up here can focus so you can tell but there's blue paint on her shoulder here as well which shouldn't be there so yeah I'm a little bit disappointed in this to be honest so that's the body and then if we look underneath you can see turn the brightness a bit up okay if we look underneath she's got this underskirt she's wearing little um they call them bloomers like long knickers so as you can see she's wearing her glass slippers and each slipper has a little nodule on where the figure will fit into the stand so that is the body now I'm hoping the head doesn't have as many flaws on as the body but I can already see a massive flaw on the uh, headpiece of it so I'm going to show it you now okay so this is the head of the figure so let's take a proper look at her face and then I'll show you where the floor is um, eyes look nice she's got big blue eyes I don't see any marks on her actual face her actual face looks okay but if you then come up here to her headpiece I don't know how well it's going to come on camera but here this should all be like smooth plastic it should be the same as this piece now you can see the color difference here and it's got all like white dirty sort of marks on it like the yeah see like sort of dirty marks on it it just looks a mess it doesn't look right at all and you're going to be able to see that on display because it's just totally different color from there i don't know if it's like they've missed out some paint or there was a problem with the plastic but yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. If I'd have bought this from the shop, it would be going back to the shop. I so I should be grateful that I didn't pay £25 for it. But yeah, I am pretty good that it just looks a mess. And there's no way I can actually hide that. Uh, that's so noticeable. Obviously, it's not the seller's fault because it's a manufacturing error. And this was sealed. So yeah, it's not like they've got it out and they've with anything to it so I can't really send it back to them but yeah I'm just not happy with that at all also there's horrible dirty marks on her hair like black marks that don't come off and like there's a different colour yellow here to here I don't know how well it'll show up on the camera but yeah I'm not too happy with that and then let's look at the back so on the back she's got this clear veil which is actually really nice uh, if it wasn't for the floors she would be a really nice figure but unfortunately there's quite a few floors on this now this is her headpiece it's like um like a like hooded veil sort of and then yeah, this is part of her headpiece or part of her veil and this is supposed to maybe look like a crown i'm not quite sure um and she's got the classic sort of style here so yeah that she is she's very pretty other than the floors um so let's put her together and see what she looks like all together so i think i'm gonna put her body on head on first so yeah i think I'm gonna, so yeah i think i'm gonna put her head on first and then i'm just gonna slot her onto her stand so you can see each shoe's got a little nodule. I'm just going to pop it. She's fully on the stand. There we go. Okay, so I'll just show you her now. Okay, so this is what the figure looks like when she's all put together. This is the front, the side. The back, the other side, and then back to the front.
Okay, so this is my Cinderella shelf. So I now have to find a space for my new figure. So I'm just going to move the shelf around. I think I know where I'm going to put her, if she looks right there. I'm going to move it around and then I'm going to show you where I've decided to place her. Okay, so this is where I have decided to place her, just here. I was originally going to put her here behind this one, but she didn't fit. So I had to swap um, this one round with this one. You can see that one from this angle. This one I swapped round. Yeah, so I swapped this one round with this one just because it fit better that way. So yeah, that is where she is going to be displayed. I think eventually I'm going to get an extra shelf and I'm going to put all the um, all the dreamy style ones on a shelf on their own and they won't be on here. That's my plan eventually, um, but that's probably going to be a while. So for now, all my dreamy ones are going to live on these shelves. So that is the end of this unboxing video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you do enjoy Cuposket unboxing videos, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell because I do put Cuposket unboxing videos up quite regularly on my channel. So if you hit the notification bell, um, you will be notified as soon as those go up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the little video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.